Hi, we're the Dawsons from Globe in South Australia. Our story is we started uh, Dibner's Courts in 2012 with Quantum. Um, we had investments in mining towns and we ran three businesses. We had a crayfishing business, a vineyard and a restaurant and it just all got too much. We sold down two of those, the fishing and the, um, the restaurant and then we found that we our serviceability wasn't too good with what we were doing. With the help of Dibna, Ian and Christine, <coughs> we worked through this um, and we made it our full-time job doing property. Um, we sold the vineyard as well and so then we just resorted to investing in real estate. Um, our office at home got too small so this is our new engine room where we have all our dip the folders over there and our files and our whiteboards. If you dog not something all of this. Our um, calendars, our planners and our computers. So this works a lot better for us. A bit more room. Um, through contacts within Quantum, we did our first deal, which was um, a JV deal, which Tiny quoted. Um, well, I was at one of Dibner's um, weekends and I stated that I wouldn't do a JV as long as my rear end pointed to the ground and then on the Monday uh, we started our first JV deal so I uh, contradicted myself there but we um, did a, a six block subdivision in regional Victoria with some JV partners which is on the screen and uh, now presently all sold so that JV uh, has been completed um, and then we moved on to this opened the doors for a, another development in the same town, a subdivision with a renovation, which um, um, is shown on the next on the next screen. Um, we renovated the the front block is actually where the house is, and we did took three months to do that renovation. Um, during that process, too, our son. Our son invested in um, in the same area and bought the block next door. So um, we, we've got um, some plans of all that happening. Uh, that's the house that we did the renovation on. And the next slides show um, what we renovated inside. We did a um, completely new bathroom. And um, also we did the kitchen. We painted the whole house inside and out and put on a new carport and this was sold within a matter of months after we, well a matter of weeks actually after we finished it. Um, this is the next... So that's the original house there uh, on that block and now we've bought, well my son's bought the block next door and we're now doing an eight block subdivision um, with these are three bed, three bathroom townhouses, um, these are two bedders and then we're building six two-bed, two-bath units on these two blocks here. Um, we're just waiting on the DA to get through on this. Um, we've had a bit of controversy over the, the units, but uh, Jared's already got a hold on these two and someone looking at this one before we've even got the DA through. So it's very, uh, yeah, it's a very popular spot um, and it's tracking along really well, although it's been reasonably hard um, going at this stage. While this was all happening, we were negotiating our first commercial deal. Um, which uh, was, a, was over quite a few years um, doing that and we've got some good tenants now in the property. We've got a five by five year, five year lease um, and Tony's got some figures there to show you of where we are at with this commercial deal. So we bought the land at 350, uh, the build price was 1050, total um, build price and land content of 1.44. Uh, it's just been revalued now at 2.9. Uh, so there's 1.5, 1.46 equity gain in it. And uh, we've just had a, a loan restructured um, at 65% LVR to the 2.9, uh, take off the original costs. We can then transfer the 485,000 into our next commercial deal, which we're doing at the moment. Um, it's rented at 294. Um, take the uh, interest on the borrowing, it's around 225 passive. Uh, 18750 a month, so that set us up brilliantly for moving forward now with uh, the next commercial deal which we're looking at right at the very moment. And, and, and these are all the tools that we've learnt from Dibner um, on how, in, how to go about refinancing and how you can 
draw more um, equity, out. equity out, out of the deal. So, so a couple of years ago, I never knew what LVR or um, equity gain or any of those, uh, the terminology that we learn uh, through DIPNA, so it's been fantastic. It's been a great learning curve for us. Um, just going back to the screen, that's, that's what we're doing with our son back in that regional um, Victoria town. There's just some pictures of the, um, the units and townhouses that are being, being um, put to council as we speak. <clears throat> just a minor little glitch here. And that's just some more drawings of the units and and two of the blocks. Did you? Yeah, they've yeah. got a hold on yeah, two mail on spring. Two set. on our sons. So that's really We're encouraging. Um, and this is the our commercial that Tony was just talking about. That's the um, shed that we built, 1,200, 1200 square, square metres. metres. And um, the tenants moved in last October. So they've only been in there for a few months, but everything's going really well. Um, but we're very happy with that one. And so that's the end of the slides. But at the moment, we are now negotiating another commercial deal with a company that we um, have hope to have a strong business relationship with finding suitable sites for their um, retail outlets. So we're sourcing country towns in Victoria at the moment, trying to find a suitable um, a position for them to lease from us. So that's um, really exciting. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's keeping us busy at the moment. Plus our two very talented children, um, Jared and Chloe, are building a gym on front of our this block actually where we're speaking. Um, so that's and that's come about by um, a conversation with a lady um, who you probably all know who suggested that I had two sheds and had a large industrial block that we should be utilising. So both the kids have got together without our, um, uh, I suppose, a little bit of push from us, but they've come up with this idea about building their own gym, um, financing it and paying back to us at commercial rates uh, the interest and some principal component, and they've been researching and, and um, developing that up over the last three months. So I think uh, from a personal point of view, it's been fantastic that our kids have now taken on board this challenge. and. Uh, we just wish we knew what we know now back when we were their age, but um, it's great to pass on to uh, other people some knowledge. We've introduced about 10 or 12 couples to the uh, Quantum and, and, and uh, Dipness Real Estate program over the last couple of years. And also, um, we're now, I'm also doing a uh, 60 block subdivision uh, f uh, on a voluntary basis uh, for the Road Golf Club. Um, we've just got DA approval last Tuesday. So we're having, um, doing all the um, stormwater engineering, uh, surveying and all that for those blocks. So that's been a fantastic um, achievement for us as well. So we're doing that on a voluntary basis. Um, yeah, and we're really enjoying the challenge. And I guess our success story is that we've got time to ourselves and we do what we want to do now and not what we have to do. So, um, and the fact that our kids are involved as well. So. And we would like to get involved with um, charity work as well overseas uh, down the track, so <clears throat> fantastic journey. Yes, to be continued. Thank you.